something with direct substitution, all that that means is take what you want to, you know, we, they want to know basically what is the value of our function or what is the y when x is a negative 2. So direct substitution is just how you guys have always done these problems. We take that negative 2, plug it in for every x that we see, and that's going to give us our final answer. So I'm just putting a negative 2 in for every um, x that I see. Oh, this is a long one, but that's okay. All right, now simplifying, I'm going to do the exponents first. So here I'm going to have a 4 times negative 2 to the 5th power is a negative 32, plus 6 times negative 2 cubed is a negative 8, plus a negative 2 to the 4th, or squared, <laughs> is a positive 4, um, minus 10 times negative 2 plus 5. Okay, so now we can do all of our multiplication to simplify. Our first one we have a negative 32 times 4. We get a negative 128. And then 6 times 8 is a negative, or 6 times negative 8, excuse me, negative 48. And here's our plus 4. And now this multiplication minus a 10 times a negative 2 becomes a positive 20 plus 5. And then all we have to do is go through and add all these together. So we take our negative 128 minus 48 plus 4 plus 20 plus 5 and we get negative 147. And this is our final answer. So again, direct substitution is just plugging the value in for every x and simplifying.